Cool. Okay, so so parrying's better against projectiles. Three, two, one, that's actually, oh, yeah, that's what you wanted. That's what a lot of people wanted, yeah. Okay. That's not bad. It's almost good. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll ask about Sonic changes later. I hope they fixed up air. Um, getting right into the match, though. And this is a classic at this point. It has to be. Ra oh my god, Dill. He went for it all. I appreciate it so much. And even using the double jump just to rapidly move. That was beautiful. He's, he's so good at using that double jump right when you won't expect it. And right when it's un not even when you won't expect it, when, when it's unreactable. And so, so you, you can't expect it. You think, oh, he's going to go to the ledge. Nope, double jump back air. Double jump air dodge. It's such a fast double jump, too. That's so good for Mega Man 2, being able to air dodge and jump after Rush Coil. He's going to make it back, yeah. All this fighting that they're doing in King Arc is really not tacking on much damage at all. This is all Dill. He definitely read King Arc going for that Metal Blade. Jump into the. I, I haven't seen much. I haven't seen King Arc play too much. This is all really, really, really fun for me to see. Ledge jump, leaf shield. I really like. All right, one of them has to die soon. This is almost still hopping up in his seat a little bit from that one. And he really doesn't want to back air. Great forward smash covering all those landing options there, really. Did not expect did not expect King Arc to be taking this so handily after the beginning of the set. The beginning of the match, but okay, well now he just died too, so that works. <laughs> you can also, you know, wait until I compliment you and then just explode. Wow, that's so safe. I think he was waiting for an air dodge there. Which would make sense. I mean, I would air dodge. No, the wrong smash attack. Really good recognition from King Arc. Just knowing he was going to get cooked if he grabbed that ledge. Great tech. There he goes. God, Dill just taking all these weaknesses that Rob may have off the stage and just canceling them all out. Just through movement, through reads. He's gotten hit by that leaf shield off the ledge very often, though. Gotta start looking for that. That's no good. Right. I have a feeling King Arc is just going for the shield pressure right now. He's still shielding a lot. It would make some sense because there's been a couple. Oh wow! He just ran up and did it. I was gonna say there are a couple times Dill's just kind of sitting in shield, getting a lot of shield damage in, but then he just ran up and sneezed on him. Getting people sick. Yeah, all this coverage at the ledge, like, it was really great with the leaf shield. But yeah, he just runs up, just like I chew. That was nice. Looks like we're going to battlefield for the next one. I kind of expect King Arc to say Mega Man. I has been playing Ridley a lot in bracket. Do you know Devin? No. Yeah, I kind of figured. This Mega Man's Mega Man's really good in this game. There's no, there's no need. Just stick with him. Okay, break the targets. One, I'm getting hyped. If they had announced this yesterday,
I would have lost my mind. They just said, we're bringing back, they break the targets. So they are giving us stage builders, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, they're just going backwards in time in, uh, in chronological order. Yeah. So, <laughs> so next 4.0, we're going to get the, to break the targets. Yeah, and then 5.0, board the platforms. Yes. Hell yeah. Then I'll be able to do the Jigglypuff one that I never figured out as a kid. Wow. I just want to, I, I know we were discussing that, but I want to talk about how many times Dill got hit off stage. Spikes twice, I believe, and almost footstooled. I, I swear, these guys are making me eat my words every time I, I talk about them. and talk about Dill doing so well off stage and King Arc just proving me wrong. Okay, really good punish on that air dodge. Oh my god, that was a combo! It had to be, like, there's no... Big Shield sends him up now, too. That's scary. Control right past. Covered the whole platform with that, too. I like it. Flame Blade is so powerful. <laughs> Don't take in place twice. What are you doing? How did that not hit him? How did that blade not hit Dill? That had to be some some Z axis stuff. They just got right up into a forward smash. Ugh. To be fair, not too many options there. Could have possibly jumped over it, but that's a scary prospect. Platforms are just giving him like a canvas to paint on. Again, he's getting hit by this ledge jump leaf shield. No, Dill. Okay, he made it. Rob's recovery is very good. right now. He's way behind on damage. I just think all of this damage that he's doing right now, he still has to take a stock and then do it again. And King Arc is not having it. He made it back to the ledge. There's Trump back here. The classic. Classic. see what Dill is going to do with that because he started getting abused off stage. He started, like, King Ark is realizing, wait a second, this character's very bad when there's no ground underneath them. And that's not true for every character, but it is for Rob. There's not many options once he starts using that up B. So, you know, just noticing, he's noticing that Dill's recovering low a lot, so maybe Dill has to start going a little bit higher, getting back to the ledge a little faster. But even so, even when Dill has the control, yeah, there's that back air again. But just when Dill has that control, he's just getting hit by Leaf Shield off the ledge. It's free damage for King Arc. It's not a great look for Dill. He needs to he needs to tighten up that game at the ledge. For sure. Three, two, one, go! Not sure about the town and city pick. But I barely play here anymore. You don't have to be as afraid of those up air combos on this stage now since it has such a high ceiling. Yeah, there he goes high. But making it back to the ledge. Bill just taking it comical amount of damage here <laughs> with not really much of a response. Just got right up into it. Oh no. 
Air dodge. You can see it on Dill's face. He's not happy with that. Oh, no. Can we call that a homie stock? I think we can call that a homie stock. We can react to that roll with Leaf Shield, too. recognizing that gyro too. One thing about the gyro, if you don't already know, it always sends in the direction that Rob is facing when he throws it. So Dill was facing away from the ledge specifically to have that cover ledge get up and ledge roll. So you can stand in one spot and kill him with up smash both times. So. I think both of them are expecting each other to go straight to the ledge every time and neither of them are really doing that. So a lot of these edge guards just go, just go undone. Like, there's no edge guarding happening. It's really the beginning of the last game of King Arc. Uh oh, careful, Dill. Excellently timed air dodge, but jump gets covered. He's got to take the stock quick. Really can't afford to take all this damage. Wow. You know what? I think that's a good way to cover the leaf shield from ledge. Maybe he finally recognized it. That down air hitbox is pretty good. There you go, Dill. Get some damage for yourself. Shield pokes. Air dodge out of there. I like it. from him though like no one's no one's giving up even though dill was really not doing great on that first stock just keep hashing that down till it'll work it'll work eventually even though dill was down that stock he's he's been doing okay run up down smash you up gotta cut you gotta punish that lag you have to really good recognition from dill bringing it back quite literally from the depths after air dodging to his death that's the second game you took just by running up and doing a smash attack. I like it.